Good morning everyone. Welcome to our NPC's Daily Devotional. Today, I would like to encourage to you about faith. Um, our faith in Christ is the most important resource we have that allows us to overcome all the challenges that we face in this world. So it's my prayer today that you will not just keep your faith in Christ, but it's my prayer that you will allow that faith to grow so that for you to enjoy its benefits. In Luke chapter 4, verse 14 to 21, it is just very unfortunate that the Nazareth people were not able to enjoy the benefits of the miracles of Christ because they have stopped believing. They have rejected the messages of Christ. You know, when Luke introduced to us Christ in Luke chapter 4, we can see here that the Christ that has returned from um, isolation from the wilderness has already been performing miracles. No, um, Christ has been performing miracles after miracles in the surrounding sur- uh, places that people have praised him. You know, the na- the Christ that is being introduced here, um, that came to Nazareth, is no longer the baby Christ, the Christ that needs nurturing, but the, it is the Christ who is now ready and matured to perform miracles. You know, in Luke chapter four. The Christ that is being introduced here in the ministry is a Christ that is already in a mission. No, he is a Christ that don't need nurture, but now um, this Christ is now ready for work. And his mission is to proclaim the good news to the poor, to proclaim freedom for the prisoners, recovery sight to the blind, and to set them free. You know, this is the Christ that they have been waiting for. This is the Christ that they have been looking for, their hope. But unfortunately, they were not able to experience what others have experienced in the surrounding society because they have not allowed their faith to believe in Christ. But let me encourage you, the different stories of people who have allowed their faith and have experienced Christ. We can have here the story of the paralytic people, the paralytic man whose friends have faith in Christ. They brought and find way to have their faith friend be in Christ. And you know what? Jesus saw their faith. And you know what? Because of that, their friend was healed. Here is a man also with leprosy. You know, um, um, you can see that he said, Christ, if you are willing, you can make me clean. And you know what? Because of his faith, he was made clean. Here is also the centurion who has great faith in Christ, that he told Christ, Christ, you don't have to go into my house. You can just say it and my servant is healed. And you know what Christ said to him? I have not found such great faith in Israel. And that servant's um, sickness was healed because of the centurion. How about you today? You know, where will your f- faith bring you? Where, what, what can Christ do to you? So it's my prayer today that you will not limit what Christ can do because of your situation. But I pray today that you will let your faith But let your faith in Christ show you what else Christ can do to you, even in your situation. It's my prayer that you will not ignore this resource that you have. I pray that you will um, have your faith, open up your faith in Christ, so that you can experience also what others have experienced, the miracles that others have experienced, even in the pandemic situation. You know what the Bible says, if you have faith like a mustard seed, it's just a small faith for for us, for Christ to work in your midst. You just need that one. And then allow it, allow Christ to prove to you and experience the miracles and the wonder that Christ, God, Christ can do even in this pandemic. So God bless you. God bless everyone who is listening right now. And may your faith brings you and give, may your faith in Christ um, deliver you from all the challenges and may you receive all the blessings and also the favors of Christ because you believe in Christ. God bless you all. Good day. Mm-hmm.